Hey, Fixed Signs, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for your next set of readings. This will run from the 12th through the 14th. And so, uh, big energy as always. If you are returning, welcome back. So if you are new, big energy always on my channel. I look at a lot of criminal activity most of the time. I am focusing on that to uproot it out of the earth, out of the heart space, because really it's just a crime of the heart. If we don't, you know, guard our heart, issues flow out of that thing, man. And it gets to be a big, big issue. And uh, so I focus on that kind of stuff on my channel. I also could come across world church and religious and I'm not, but the scripture is found in the tarot. It's written up on my heart. So you will get it here. I honor it. I am connecting with you. Hold Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. People call him the universe, but I call him by his scriptural name. And so this is who I am on my channel. So take it, leave it, do whatever you want to do with it. But fix signs, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you all. I've been like taking a card for each day, but I'm just taking three general cards to just look at the energy. So just take it as it applies. And if it doesn't apply, then check out one of the other readings. Um, I always address people to go where the sun's at and we're in a cardinal sign right now and the sun actually showed itself there in that reading to me and so you might get more of your story there. So let's just go ahead and get started and see what's going on. All right, sorry about my hand. Uh, when I was talking to you all, so if you're new, I feel energy. Sometimes I can come across goofy. It is energy, okay? And so you'll just learn me as we go, but I did, f I'm feeling some type of a... Um, awkwardness with your energy um, as I was connecting with you all don't know what that's alluding to but it's real heavy on me it's like um it's kind of like feeling clumsy or I don't know it, that's just some, some type of a uneasy uh, type of a feeling that I was getting when I was speaking with you all, whatever that means. We had the King of Cups wanting to jump out here. Let me connect real quick. Yehova, I just appreciate you so very much. Show me energy for Scorpio and Taurus, Aquarius and Leo. Yehovah, rebuke, bind and block every wicked, foul, dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell and help me to interpret what I need to uh, for this reading. It's almost like um, there's, you know, this King of Cups coming out here. We have, I've had a lot of stuff come out on this King of Cups um, recently. Things about behind closed doors and things like that would come out. If this is in the upright, this is love at its finest. This is somebody who uh, absolutely just always feels love. He doesn't always show it because he's very intelligent within that love space uh, within himself. He would know when to pour it out, when to, to take it back in. He would be very honest within that. He would be able to be nurturing to the other party as well. Um, but in the negative of this King of Cups here recently, those of you all who follow my channel, you know that there's been some stuff on, you know, things about behind closed doors and, and stuff like that. This would be a very intelligent manipulator if that's in the negative. So we're having people come out on these readings uh, the cardinal sign had the queen of wands. The mutable sign had the knight of wands. And so far, you guys are getting the king of cups. So there's a king and a queen and a knight showing up between the next couple of days. Um, there's a lot here. So whoever this king of cups is, could be a boss, could be you, could be a father, could be a secret investigator as well. If we're talking to FBI, it could take us back to that. It just could be just somebody just at the kingship of their love as well within something. Uh, let's see what else can out here for fixed signs. Show me fixed signs, Jehovah. Show me fixed signs, please. This King of Cups would hold down something as well, uh, if that's in the negative. There, there's some type of a stubbornness here. Yeah. So we have the Strength card coming out. And we have the angels kind of just, you know, prying the mouth of the lion open or shutting somebody's freaking mouth or somebody's needing some type of a strength here. The angels are here to help. This is uh, a door. This represents a doorway. In the Hebrew, it's the letter Chet, which in the modern, they say 
I think Chet or something like that. So the H or since it's modern, CH could be uh, prevalent for somebody as well. But this represents a doorway. And so you're still going to come out on this King of Cups, whatever that is. It also represents a wall, a ladder, a string passing from one space to the next. It has the feel of um, a judgment type of energy. And I've seen the judgment card in both the cardinal and the mutable sign readings. Uh, this is um, births and deaths. I'm trying to say that together. Um, in the Hebrew, some type of courage and strength needs to be here. Here, and there's the angels helping uh, to either speak about those types of things behind closed doors, things that uh, the hanging man was there. So we're talking about a string or a rope or something like that in the, in the cardinal uh, reading. The hanging man was there. And then in the mutable sign reading, we had the person holding the uh, a whip or a cord or a rope or a string or however you want to look at that picture. It was there. So it is here. And, uh, you know, we have children with this energy and love and romance and things with the, with all that energy as well. So there's that player wants to come out. I guess you guys are getting uh, um, two cards that are two uh, an extra cards, but two cards are coming out for the last position. This is leaving trouble waters behind uh, or something happened on a trip. This is a publicity card as well. I'll take that for the bottom of the deck. Um, then something like that would be here. This is, you know, I'm in, I'm out. Uh, this was clarifying the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups came out on the cardinal sign with the um, Queen of Wands. And um, so something about somebody being played or a lover energy is also here. If you're dealing with somebody a little younger than you, or this is your father, or this is a boss and an employee, or something just happened out of haste, then this energy is here around you guys uh, for the next couple of days. So this is a departure card. So somebody's trying to depart and travel forward. And then that's here with the uh, Six of Swords. So there's been stormy waters here because somebody needs courage about something. Actually, let's, I grabbed the wrong deck for the position that I want to look at. This is what's going to uh, be exposed to you in the hidden space that is around you um, in the next couple of days. So you hold up. Show me fixed signs and what's hidden around them. And the most important thing that they need to know that's hidden around them. Uh, we have the Lord. This is an authority figure of some sort. Uh, it could be anything. It could also represent a parent. We would have a parental uh, energy out here with this king. The Lord is any kind of authority then. A boss, a teacher, uh, you know, again, parent, um, property owner could represent this as well. This is something about obligations and priority uh, that's hidden. There's some type of a person then would be here in the hidden space that holds some type of a position of some sort. There's a foe. There is a foe. There is somebody angry as well. In both the other readings, it, it was there. It came out in wording. It came out in pictures. And uh, somebody's lost their cre credibility somewhere then. And by God, I guess they did uh, with the faux card. This somebody's you know, secretly somebody's you know comparing this and that and everything else, and that's what that faux card represents. So it's also a card of um, um, it's something not going to go your way. Okay, especially if you're somebody who's a player. You don't you know you, you know if this is upright, then this is upright. But if you're a player and you try and do something very manipulative around some stupidness, whatever this is, somebody who's uh, hidden is some type of a person who holds some type of a title, but there's some type of credibility here that's been lost within that. Uh, something's being shown to you about that person here. They're, that's not going to go somebody's way as they think it may go. Okay, so if you're the upright, you're catching somebody like that, then that'd be great not to let it go the way your foe thinks it's going to go because this is leaving trouble waters behind within that situation. Show me another card, please, for fixed energy. Okay. Somebody, I guess, don't like that. <laughs> Because somebody's hottie out here. And somebody is hottie out here, people. They are. There's a caution out here as well at the bottom of the deck. Uh, the scripture says that uh, Jehovah loves to keep his eye on the hottie to bring it down. This is a show-off. This is a show-off card. Somebody's like, sighing all the time. There's death energies that is here because it showed off. That's a, like a widow card. Um, but there is death. It, it showed up in both the other two readings. And there, so there's something about uh, you know being cautious 
Okay, for somebody who's lost their credibility and because they're haughty and you has to bring their pride down because they're a big fat show off that's in the hidden, okay, and all they do is sigh if that's not a widow, but there is death for some of you all. Otherwise, this is somebody who just sighs all the time. They're in grief. They're in pain. They're in isolation. They're lonely, whatever that is. Then, you know, this is a caution. This is a bad luck card. And then there's, you know, somebody not going to get their way and there's bad luck on that person, okay, because they're a freaking player around on some ordeal and somebody has to have you know the angels come down and just shut the freak's mouth that's trying to do some stupid because they don't have no credibility anywhere and they don't have this would be like I'm hasty I don't have no control or hey I'm just haughty all the time things don't go my way I'm gonna freaking blow up within some stupidness and that that energy would be here um, let me take your room I will also take three more cards just for extra energy this is what's hidden around some people so you really need to use your intuition um, especially you know if you're making some type of a decision to, to go from one space to the next uh, with somebody here, um, there's just caution. There's just caution. Somebody needs to be cautious. And you always allow you to see something about somebody. They just compare everything. Uh, they are attached to authority uh, within some ordeal or this is your parent or, you know, this is you know, if you are dealing with the teacher, then I guess you are. Um, some, some type of uh, energy, though, is here. And there's a foe. And we had the whip come out of somebody who likes conflict. We're dealing with freaks, man. I have two that came up for you all. We have the eye. This is somebody who has vices on them. Okay. And so, but this is a victory over that. We did have victory come out real big. Um in these readings for the next couple of days. So somebody is going to get victory because somebody's going to catch this stuff, be cautious, okay, and uh, understand who they're messing with, okay, and be able to depart real quick to leave troubled waters behind because somebody's, somebody's intelligently uh, manipulating somebody, okay, but they've lost their credibility and they're trying to play some stupidness or, or somebody's trying to do that to you or you're doing that or wh whoever's involved in the stupidness. This is some type of a victory over that in, in energy. This goes back to being calm and reflecting and it's the eye so looking at something uh, for what it is okay again obviously you do need to compare something for truth's sake you do need to do that um, but this is about somebody who's just like well if it ain't this way or this way or that way or that way just all the time uh, for some type of a negative purpose then that would be here but you and I do need to weigh everything out okay it, for uprightness but this is a about having some type of a control and resisting something when that comes out so the letter I is here. Then we have the uh, torch coming out, which is the letter C or the letter K is here. It looks like the V, um, the IV. Okay, well, you know, we're dealing with somebody who also you know, maybe works for a doc doctor's office or something about a hospital could be here. If we're talking about an IV or if you're talking about somebody who shoots up, we had the psychedelic card of the hangman and the negative and poisons and stuff like that could come out and uh, for reference. If so if you knew, I, I just use everything. I use phonics and things like that as well. Um, so we, do, we, have, we have that energy that would be here. We have, um, um, Something was coming through my spirit. So um, we had a heavy drinker come out. But if you're dealing with somebody to the level where they're they shooting up stuff, then something's here. Whatever that is for you. But this goes back to skill and the truth and clarification of something. This is a forgiveness or a solution to a problem when it comes out because there's been troubles here with this rune. Or some type of a misunderstanding went down somewhere and it caused some type of, you know, situation and somebody's got played or something like that or you just need to depart real quick then fine this is overcoming something and justice assured again having control okay self-control and being calm within some ordeal okay so the h the v the i the c and the k is here thus far and people need to have strength to put their walls down but to just be cautious within that some people put their walls down real quick and you're dealing with somebody haughty and you're not cautious. I can read that energy that way. Obviously, there's been stormy waters here around something and we're seeing, you know, a victory to be able to resist something so that you can escape something here in a very positive way. Okay. Um, show me three more cards, please, for fixed energy. You hold up. What else do you want to bring out? Thank you. The ship. Well, we have boat situations or something watery is here or the, or both these can go back to travel. Since the um, chariot was there today as well, 
uh, for the, um, I think it was a mutable sign that also is some type of, you know, transportation. This is also uh, some type of a um, holiday. So if something happened on a holiday and there was a lover situation there, then there was. There's the whip. Yeah, there's that, there's that stupid hussy. Uh, that's coming out that likes a conflict. It's right here. Somebody's a show off. Hey, look at me. I think I'm so cute. And hey, look at my rope. Oh, we don't want to look at you for you. You need you need to go hang on your own freaking rope, man. Uh, this is somebody who likes and enjoys conflict. Okay, you always say to today that he was going to make sure that they they get met the same way. Then they will. This person, somebody going to take that whip right out and say, let me let me show you what it sounds sounds like when you're being whipped and felt like. Okay, this is somebody who's angry all the time. They're repetitious. They've got addiction. So if we're dealing with somebody who does, you know, um, shoot up in their arm or something, they're psychedelic. Then that energy for some people they do deal with that kind of stuff. Okay, so we, this is not good. This is a very argumentative person. You need to be cautious so whoever this person is here this authority figure this boss this teacher the your parent or you and just you know s sighing all the time because somebody ain't happy here uh then we get into the devil okay out here male or female really doesn't matter it's just some picture out here some freak no we have children out here Okay, well, we do have children right here as well. This She's got a net. Try to catch somebody up a net. If you're dealing with somebody who's got a childlike brain, then you are. That can represent that. It's also, you know, somebody who you went to high school with or this is actual... Um, a child that is a um, you know student or something like that. This is a, a curiosity card as well. Just be cautious if you're curious of something here. Um, this is also stumbling up on some type of a situation or information. We have two J and a JJ. Somebody could go by JJ. I'm not sure. Um, you know somebody's jiving somebody. The you know JV is here. The jaw. The JW. It's oh excuse me. I don't know where I got the W. Well, maybe somebody. Well obviously somebody jaw going off all the time. Then it is. Um, the the jock would be here the jck it could take us to a jock as well you can do your own phonics but that's here we have the sun something's going to be right up in your face this is pride and ego though given what's out here in this deck it represents that obviously the sun is governmental things as well we have an authority figure here um we also have um you know somebody in the public eye this is a fame and glory card but this is also a victory card and some people are going to get victory over some stupid because the great ones allow you to know some stuff then great you can be able to leave trouble waters behind it's Somebody's got prison coming to them for some stuff that's taking place, okay? We want to see these freaks leave the earth down, man. I'm just sick of people. Who, who, who in their right mind wants to be somebody who I just, who can I pick a fight with? Who can I be? That's evilness. The, the scripture has a lot to say about those freaks. And the scripture says, in the, I think it's in the book of Proverbs or it's in the book of Psalms. One of those, that there are some people that can't even go to sleep at night without going and doing some evil. And those are the people that um, are going to fall in their own traps, man. El Hanora. Awesome Elohim, great and mighty Elohim, who keeps covenant and mercy. Do not let all the trouble seem small before you that has come upon us, our kings, our princes, our prophets, our fathers, and all of the people from the days of the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria showed up like this. Okay, that's just, uh, he was haughty. He did all kinds of stupidness. And Jehovah tells us in the book of Isaiah that he, he is taking care of the king of Assyria. He absolutely is. Something about, uh, I want to say something came out in the phonics about a roof. So that the top of, of a roof or something like that. We have a building here as well showing up here. And so we have like a, the cliff or stairs. Okay. So whatever that is. Something's went down in a real hasty way. Or you just need to be cautious. Okay. At the top of some type of stairs. If you're having some type of a conversation with somebody. Or an authority or a boss figure or something. And you're dealing with somebody who's got vices around them. Trying to catch somebody up in a net. There's a player situation. Or you're dealing with somebody... That you try to depart from where there was a love affair type of energy there, something like that. And then something about stairs or a cliff or a steep place is here. Okay. We also have to join or to fashion to someone or to something or to cleave. Well, that takes you back to marital situations for some, some people cleaving. And some people are trying to hang on to stuff and they can't do it because the book of Daniel talks about in the last days we'd be found. Some people were, would be like clay and some people would be like iron and those two things can't mix and they would, there'd be division there and people would try to be cleaving to things and it can't happen. Okay. So whatever, whatever that is coming out for, for any given person, uh, there is hope. So believe in the hope 
card also showed itself as well. You are dealing with a, a murder case, okay? That somebody's blood guilty for something. Again, we have caution out here. Where somebody's got full pride and conceit, okay? Don't care if they're up in the public eye or not. We don't care. There's caution here. There's bad luck. It's going to take place on some type of foe. It's not going to go the way that they want to because they need to be taken down low is where they need to be taken, okay? And so an open rebuke is better than secret love. Somebody who is wise and fair with compassion is also here. Again, the King of Cups in the upright, he is wise. He is very intelligent. He, he knows how to uh, not be manipulative. He could he could tap into when somebody is being manipulative to him, he'd pick up the stupid thing. If that's in the upright and that's not, then he'd be able to pick up that stupid thing in a heartbeat. Somebody out here, though, is full of compassion. And, and it's time to speak. Okay, so some just, just with caution, though, because what's hidden is a haughtiness. What's hidden is, hey, I'm a show off. What's what's out here? Some some somebody don't like your connection for some of you all, but it is time to speak. There's somebody who's been back and forth within some type of a matter, but no more because we do see some type of force and an overturn and something not going to go the way that somebody you know thinks because we have a victory out here. Okay, we have an assured success. Yes, jail, prison, and justice it did come out in both the cardinal and the mutable sign. Thank you because the incarceration card was there in the uh, card uh, the mutable sign and the hangman represents prison. It was in the cardinal sign reading. So thank you, you hope somebody going to go to jail for murder. Okay, they're blood guilty out here. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. So somebody's confessing something and uh, going to be able to depart from something and find some mercy, then great, man. Somebody's dealing with some. We know that we are dealing with the kook because it comes out on my channel all the time. And given that the hangman was there, that in the negative, that's a psychedelic a freak. And they're, they're, they are cuckoo. And we are, we are, and that house will take you back to escapism type of stuff and we have somebody who's has the inability to separate their fantasy land world from reality somebody needs you know to go in to have a mental evaluation let them get on some you know an iv to get them calmed down from some stupidness whatever that is somebody's out here that lives in fantasy land that's why some people need to be real cautious because you're dealing some some of them that are in that type of mode they're they they got blood on their hands man they're a murderer um when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice we have authority figure here man and uh but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn yes 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 they do people this is what come out uh around your energy i want to um take three cards i actually am sitting here and realizing i did your reading different than the other two i don't think anything happens for a reason the way that it did it just i guess turned out that way i started the reading off on the other two element signs with this deck and so i'm just going to see what just comes out for you all for a message because these have words and stuff on them and i use the rider weight to um clarify so anyway it came out the way it needed to come out i guess you what do you want to bring out for fixed signs give us a last message for them what's the most important thing please that they need to know those of you who are getting victory over some stupid hostile freak out here, um, especially people that are around your children like that, then congratulations for you to be able to leave troubled waters behind. Yes, so there is something very karmic out here. The will is out here. So this is positive because somebody, somebody, if you're the upright people, there is a victory out here. There's traveling traveling real big here there's three vehicle type of energies out here in a very big way uh and then resting after broken heart which still take you back to the four of swords can take you back to death situations the four sword was also in the mutable sign reading this is mutable here we have archangel michael here uh and we got angels here showing up around some stupid nasty stupidness this is the law somebody can go to jail and prison then great they're going to freaking go to jail and prison somebody else going to be able to rest after broken heart because this is death that's murder out here on something so there's been a whirlwind and there's been a whirlwind now it's going to go up on freaks let, let them feel what they do to people this is going to go backwards in the, in the other direction uh for the wicked and it'll go in the upright way for the um people who are upright this is luck this is fortunate uh for something to take place inevitably it's again with the sun out here as well we got victory victory assured success and a victory here because that's the arm of Jehovah protecting and turning something so somebody's doing something out here that's uh for the next couple of days fixed signs that that is bringing some type of a victory um in a very positive way for those who are standing in the truth this goes back to the truth all right this is also the letter y until next time shalom